Thank you for choosing the Eye Glucose Plus to help you manage your diabetes. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use your meter for accurate and easy blood glucose monitoring. Before you start, please wash your hands with soap and water. Be sure to dry thoroughly with a clean paper towel. First, let's prepare the lancing device. Remove the cover and insert a sterile lancet. Remove the safety tab and adjust the puncture depth to your comfort. Pull back the caulking barrel to set the lancing device. It's ready to use. Now take a test strip from the vial and close the cap immediately to keep the remaining strips fresh and sterile. Hold the test strip horizontally with the indicator arrow pointing down and push it into the test strip port. Wait for the apply a drop of blood message to appear. Now let's get a blood sample. Take your lancing device and place it on your finger. Press the release button to get a drop of blood. Gently touch the tip of the test strip to the blood drop. The strip will draw the blood in. The meter will count down from five to one. Your blood glucose results will then be displayed and automatically stored in the meter's memory and transmitted to your care team via cellular network. To finish, remove and safely dispose of the used test strip. The meter will enter a standby mode automatically. That's it. You've successfully taken your blood glucose reading with the iGlucose Plus and your results are on the way to your care team. Here's the solution for each of the following error messages. Blood glucose result may be higher than 600 milligrams per deciliter. Review proper testing procedure and perform a quality check with control solution. Repeat blood test. If high still appears, call your doctor or seek medical attention immediately. Blood glucose results may be lower than 20 milligrams per deciliter. Review proper testing procedure and perform a quality check with control solution. Repeat test. If low still appears, call your doctor or seek medical attention immediately. Battery is low. Charge the battery. Temperature is above or below the operating range for the device. Move to an area with temperature between 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 104 degrees Fahrenheit and wait 45 minutes. Do not artificially heat or cool the device. Repeat the test with a new test strip. A blood sample was applied to the test strip before the meter displayed, apply a drop of blood. Repeat the test with a new strip. The inserted test strip has been used or damaged. Repeat the test with a new strip. The meter has malfunctioned. Press reset switch and try to perform a control test. Meter detects an abnormal signal while testing. Repeat the test using a new test strip. Remove and insert the test strip. If the problem persists, replace the test strip with a new one. Blood sample was too small. Repeat the test with a new test strip. Be sure to fill the test strip check window. An issue with meter calibration. Remove the test strip from the meter. Turn off the meter, press and hold the home button for three seconds. Press and hold the home button again to turn the meter on and insert the test strip. The meter has malfunctioned. Restart the meter. For more detailed instructions, refer to your user manual and always consult with your healthcare provider for any concerns regarding your results. If you have other problems or questions, please contact customer support.